Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't know when this is going to go up. Um, earlier, I made a video. Can't put it up yet. I don't have any internet. I've been kicked off again, or they've cut it off. Whatever. Um, I said in that video that it was Wednesday, or anyway, the wrong day of the week. <laughs> said it was Tuesday, April 12th. It's Wednesday, April 12th. Okay. And I've just finished praying. You have lots more time to pray when you're not online. But I wanted to just give a little rundown of all the stuff I've gotten rid of. Well, I took down my every living tree. Let me show you what I did with the flowers off of it. You see that? It's in there in a vase. I put that little string of lights in the vase with the flowers and some stick out the top. It's pretty. And I get to still enjoy the light. See, it makes a little light. And for now, I've got my doll until the Lord convicts me that dolls are wrong. I'm going to keep her. I took down the garland that I had. It came with lights on it. I just took it down and watered it up and threw it in the trash. Threw away my wedding album. You might go, why? <laughs> well, I had to break that soul tie. Lord, see, he had told me years ago, after our second separation, if I didn't keep that man away from me, his demons were going to take me down. And I told him that. And I took him his mail, and it came in a dream. When I told him the circumstances of the dream, he told me later that what happened in the dream was exactly what was going on in real life. So he knew it came from the Lord. Anyway, so I got rid of my wedding album. Didn't even look in it. I got rid of my family tree. And you might think, why would you do that? Well, on that list was get rid of your family tree, especially if you had ancestral sins. And, well, it was the Hardesty family tree. And they were my dad, his dad before him, and his dad before him were all in the Knights of Columbus in the Catholic Church. And as you probably know, if you don't know, the Knights of Columbus is like a secret society equivalent to the Masons. And they're from the Knights of Malta. You can look that up. Anyway, that's what's in my ancestry. I chunked that thing. I don't look at it anyway. I looked at it one time. I know it's we're from England, Ireland, Scotland, Scandinavia, all up in there. So, I don't need to know anything more about it. I know enough. I threw that away. Threw away that little charm bracelet. I mentioned that earlier. Oh. And there was mention on that list of the artwork of babies growing out of vegetables or flowers. Well, I had taken pictures of my babies and grandbaby, cut their little heads off, and glued them inside flowers for luncheon we did a couple years ago. And I signed up for two tables so I could invite two guests, my girls. And I used the Ann Gettys theme for one of my tables. And I had saved those flowers with their little heads glued in them, pictures of them, and then framed them in a three-dimensional frame that was the hardest thing to get rid of. And, of course, I wanted to think, well, you know, what is he, what, 
Why is this wrong? Well, he mentioned that it would be an abomination to the Lord for us to think babies grew out of nature when he created us to have them the way we have them. And I can see that. I can. So I said, I'm not, I'm not even going to question it. Why? I don't need this. I'm going to heaven anyway. I don't want any open doors. I'm not taking any chances. So I took the back off that frame and tore those, tore that thing up, threw it away. It's gone. So I hope that you all have been cleaning your houses too. You know, this is the week of Passover. And it occurred to me, well, the video that I want to put up that I already made, I mentioned. There, we should be cleaning the leaven out. You know, we get the leaven out. I'm pretty sure this is that week. If I could get online, I could research it. And I may do that and find a link when we get the internet back up on, you know, cleaning the leaven out, which we know leaven represents sin. Okay, well, I'm going to end this here. I just wanted to let you know what I've been doing today and part of it last night. And I pray that you all are taking this seriously that we do need to live pure and holy lives and and not just because of the rapture i know i would have made it anyway had i not done one thing but if those items were opening doors for demons to attack me give me thoughts of doubt or depression or anything that i've experienced have been experiencing off and on I didn't want that anymore even if we're out of here next week or this weekend or whatever I mean I just wanted to do it out of obedience for the Father and Jesus they deserve so much more you know well it's um uh, I'll just end it there I love you all very much, and I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over my internet connection. It'll go back up soon. And over each and every one of you as well, I've been pleading the blood and praying for you, for all of you. And um, so I'll end it there, and I'll talk to you later. I hope you get to see this by tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye for now.